Vietnam's economic growth slowed to 3.32% in the first quarter, against a 5.92% year-on-year expansion in the fourth quarter of 2022, and a 5.03% growth in the first quarter a year earlier. Based on the quarterly socioeconomic report of the General Statistics Office of Vietnam, released yesterday, this is likely the result of an 11.9% decrease in year-on-year -year exports, and a general slowdown in Vietnam's manufacturing sector, due to softening global demand, as exports of smartphones and electronics fell sharply. Shipments of smartphones, the country's largest export earner, fell by 15% to $13 billion, while electronics shipments fell 10.9%, in the first quarter compared from a year ago. As noted by Capital Economics, Vietnam is among the world's most open economies, and weak external demand is taking a toll on the economy. Adding that an over-leveraged property sector has been hit hard by a tightening of lending conditions. Industrial production in the first quarter fell by 2.3% from a year earlier, while retail sales of goods and services rose 13.9%. Consumer prices in March fell 0.23% from February, though the average consumer prices in the first quarter rose by 4.8% from a year earlier. Vietnam is targeting a 6.5% growth of gross domestic product this year, below a decade-high expansion of 8.02% last year. The country's central bank earlier this month cut several policy rates to increase liquidity and support economic growth, in a surprise move that set it apart from regional peers amid the global financial turmoil. Vietnam's benchmark stock index has lost 29% over the past year, according to Refinitiv data. Reflecting domestic and external headwinds, GDP growth is expected to slow to 6.3% in 2023. The services sector growth will moderate, as low base effects from post-COVID-19 fade. The main driver of growth will be domestic demand. However, it might be affected by higher estimated inflation, averaging a 4.5% in 2023. Given softer external demand, the contribution of net exports will weigh on the country's economic growth. The economy is expected to benefit from the partial implementation of the capital investment of the 2022-2023 Economic Support Program. An agile monetary policy, closely coordinated with fiscal policy objectives, would help keep domestic inflation under control. On the downside, weaker-than-expected growth in Vietnam's major export markets, in the US, China, and the Eurozone could affect export prospects. Potentially higher inflation could affect domestic demand. Further tightening of global financial conditions could affect Vietnam's financial sector, which suffers from weaknesses in the balance sheets in the corporate, banking, and household sectors, affecting domestic investor and consumer sentiment and from incomplete reforms. Implementation challenges could also hamper the execution of the planned public investment program. The report from the Economic Outlook for Southeast Asia, China, and India 2023, Reviving Tourism Post-Pandemic, states that Vietnam's economic growth is driven by foreign investment in the manufacturing sector, especially electronics, machine manufacturing, textiles and footwear and benefits from China's loosening of COVID-19 prevention and control measures. At this rate, the OECD believes that Vietnam continues to lead the top five largest economies in Southeast Asia. The Philippines is forecast to reach growth of 5.7% in 2023 and 6.1% in 2024. Indonesia at 4.7% and 5.1%. Malaysia at 4% and 4.2% and Thailand at 3.8% and 3.9% in the same period.